So today we have the Grow Egg 2. I thought I'd do a quick look around this, just in case um, you wasn't familiar with how the second one looks. It looks a lot different from the first one, a lot more modern actually. So this is quite good, it tells you what kind of tog um, blanket you'd need for your child depending on the temperature, if that's something you wanted to follow, I think you can actually buy them from the grow company on their website so that, you know, you just match it exactly to the temperature reading. But I mean, you know, you don't have to do that. It's just something additional. And the main reason people buy these is to prevent SIDS in children. So that happens through overheating in the night and so on. So it's quite an essential purchase to get um, some form of thermometer when you've got a newborn. So let's have a look inside. Okay. So there's the plug. Standard UK plug in there. Here is the unit. It's strange actually because when you see this product portrayed in the images, it looks as though this bottom part is like a space grey. And it's not, it's white. So in case you were wondering, it's definitely not space grey, it's definitely not metallic. It does look it there. Um, and it looks like that on all the other pictures online and on the packaging, but it's definitely not grey, so not a huge issue. It would have been nice to maybe have that little modern metallic colour, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Um, it's a bit smaller than I thought it was actually in the hand. This is the size of it. It is quite squidgy as well. Squidgy silicon, and on the back here, that's the power inlet. I'm guessing that's the thermometer there sticking out of the back, and then here tells you exactly what each reading means. Let me put it down so it just says the temperature of each light. So we'll get out of the packaging quick. So this is the grow egg out of this packaging. It's quite a nice little unit, I suppose. That's where the temperature is going to be, the readout. That's the bottom. It's got like uh, little rubberized feet on there, which is good. And then you get this manual in here, this instruction manual. Um, this tells you exactly what's going on with the, let me focus that, with the temperature readings. It's like a quick reference guide. So really you want to be between yellow and orange. Um, I almost didn't buy this product actually. Um, almost didn't get it because I didn't think it would be that clear so if it was green it would tell me obviously if um, the room temperature was at a good level and I think it was just the Tommy Tippy one that done the green function but this one doesn't this one just does blue yellow orange and red so when I looked at it I thought well it might be a little bit hard to tell um, what the ideal temperature is. I know it says the reading, but colour-wise, I mean, these three might be quite hard to distinguish between. They might not be, we need to turn on and see, they're probably perfectly okay, but that's just what went through my head, so we'll have to have a look at that. Um, but I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. If it's blue, it's too cold. If it's bright red, it's too hot. So you want to be somewhere in the middle between yellow and orange, so I guess it is pretty, pretty straightforward. So let's turn it on and see how it looks. So this is the unit on and obviously it's in broad daylight so 
you probably won't see it that bright it's not actually flushing it just it will probably flush on the screen but that number isn't flushing um saying that it's 25.2 it will probably take a while to adjust the temperature i know that there are different levels that you can do the light at but i'm not sure how you do that oh here we go there's a button underneath that's off level one level two Oh, okay, so it starts off bright, and then it gets dimmer. But obviously we can't really see it because it's not that dark. So let me close the curtains quickly. So now you get to see the light. It's a lot more clearer now. Um, and it'd be even clearer in a very, very dark space. Let me try and adjust the light on here. So you can kind of see how it would glow. And 25 would indicate that the room is too hot now so that's a solid red color let's try and dim it again see what it looks like it's a very dim one oh so bright dimmer very very dim and off okay so first impressions are pretty good um the plastic is like a shiny glossy type similar to what you got on the old um, Apple MacBooks if you're familiar with those in the old iPods back in the day it's quite nice if you've got a you know a minimalist white color scheme or white and black whatever so it's nice regardless so um, yeah gonna be testing that out over the next few days to see what it's like probably put it up on a corner shelf or something like that um, and yeah, I'll, I guess I'll be reporting back in the comments, but so far so good by the look of it, and time will tell how this holds up.